What does it do with ACE inhibitors in CKD? On the wards, the moment someone comes in with an acute kidney injury, we are scoring these drugs off the chart. But then in renal clinic, when the patients come to see me, I'm using these in everyone, right? Whether they have hypertension, CKD, proteinuria, I love Raz inhibition, right? <laughs> so here's how I think about it. The glomerulus is basically a tiny specialized blood vessel with its own little blood pressure, right? The glomerular filtration pressure. And in chronic kidney disease, you have fewer healthy nephrons to begin with, right? So the remaining nephrons, the healthier nephrons are working overtime. They are under pressure. And ACE inhibitors and ARBs, they reduce that pressure. They reduce the intraglomerular hypertension. And when you reduce the stress on the surviving nephrons, they actually last longer. So yes, in acute kidney injury, you should absolutely be scoring these drugs off the chart, but in stable chronic kidney disease and someone that's well hydrated, then these drugs are going to be excellent for slowing down the progression of CKD, delaying the onset of end-stage renal failure. Nephrologists love these drugs.